using my quarter inch seam I'm joining three strips together. You notice I, will, I do not go fast, I match up my seams, the edges to create the quarter inch seam and I set my GPDX7 to the quarter inch seam. I do not have a quarter inch seam foot on this machine, although I can have one. It just moves when you select the stitch, it moves the needle to the correct position for you to use the edge of the foot on the edge of the fabric. I will stop that there with the needle down and come back later. I am now joining the third strip as I'm making three strip sets. You will notice that strips are with the fabric strips so that means they are going across the grain so I'm careful not to stretch them as I'm sewing else you'll get a very wavy line and then when we when we cut them again into two and a half inch strips as you'll see later on they'll remain true. So I'm just gently feeding it through, watching all the time to make sure I've got a quarter inch straight. As you can see it does get a little bit twisted up. At the end I will press the seams all one way while I cut them into two and a half strips. So there you are. So you will notice that I have laid all of my blocks out ready to start stitching together. And this is how I like to work. So now I'll take you to the machine. Let me just get you onto the machine. And I start working from the right hand side. Now to denote that I want to be able to keep knowing which is the right hand side I'm going to put a clip in and please note that on the underside the seams will be butt edged up so I will butt edge them up I'll turn it round just so that I can I can see what I'm doing I don't use pins but I'm very careful about how I butt edge I start with my needle right in because that stops your bird nesting and carry on going over that seam. Now I can feel that's nesting into that seam. Before I get to the next one I just make sure by lifting it up and nesting it in. Now having that clip on the right hand side I'll just get another end up so I can go on and then I can clip it off and I'll clip that one off too and you will see so it will start from the right going towards that way so now I'm going to pick up the next one now I'm alternate I'm alternating so that the yellow is on the top we've got the stars with the navy blue in the middle and then the on the next one the yellow goes on the bottom so again i'm going to nest my seams turn it to the machine start my leader and feed it gently in now I'm going to continue this all the way down the strip. It's going to be one side of a small quilt that I'm doing. I'm, I get about three stitches to the end, find my little end and stitch onto it, just so that it brings it out and snip. Snip that leader off. And there we have a nine patch. 
and I'll repeat that process so now I don't have to twiddle it around so I'm matching up my seams and you can feel if your seam has has twisted if it has just twist it up to the way that you want it to be butted in two or three st stitches from the end and then go into your ender and repeat that process until you have the strip as long as you need it 